Darkness, Death, Doom. Welcome to Rados Review. This band is all about those things I said it, so it's one band, one desire. Uh, here we go with the band called God Disease from Finland, which just got out their uh, debut album that has been postponed, it seems. Technically speaking, while the making of this video, this album is not yet out, it's 15th of uh, February 2019, so this week's Friday when I'm actually doing this video. Let's take a look at this fine CD. Here is the CD inlaid with the tracklist, obviously, really using info and all that. Then we have uh, this cover image CD here, and obviously the CD um, cover booklet. As you can see, some sort of uh, birdie creature plunging in ice. Oh no, must be painful. Uh, Drifting Towards Inevitable Death is the name of this album, as you can probably read. And uh, here is the current lineup. Uh, those who are familiar with the band might already know that this band kind of split up already and then reformed with a new lineup. So there are not. Everybody in the band is not an original member anymore. I think there are only a couple of ones. But who gives a damn? Because eventually it's just, you know, this album that is made by the very band. Cat Disease might imply a little bit of black metalish thing, but. This is in fact quite different. This is not even pure death metal as such, more like a combination of the doom and death metal. And that is kind of underlined with the very fact that this is mostly, mostly about slow, tempo, heavy as hell. And if that sounds intriguing, you're right in the right place. Uh, with the right CD. Now there are some uh, more mid tempo parts, you know, just to give your um, energy levels going. But I was actually surprised because I was considering that it might be more of a kind of old-school mid-tempo all the way, maybe even faster parts. But this is just, you know, lengthy songs with that really heavy sound, really kind of like oppressive feeling, just this impending doom and all this darkness, you know, kind of a cliche way to say it, but it's all there. Now, uh, as such, nothing wrong with this um, album. Uh, this reminds me of, you know, those kind of early uh, days of doom metal, well, doom death metal bands, when, you know, these kind of a two twisted styles just, you know, we're not so uh, separable from each other. You know, think of early Paradise Lost, maybe, even My Dang Bright, and you get a idea of uh, how things are. So kind of a death metalish riffs, but then again lots of these doomy elements, not only because of this um, slow tempo, but because back then, like early 90s, late 80s even, these were not, like I said, these were not totally different genres as such. Now um, the growling vocals, they are very very good here. I mean they are just, you know, Deep, coming deep from the, I don't know, underneath the earth, maybe from sewers, some kind of a shrieky why, but mostly just, you know, the kind of a death crawling type, kind of like monstro sound coming from afar, yet kind of a terrifying, which is great, obviously. Um, and uh, sound-wise, everything is just, you know, supporting the music very much. I mean, it's just really, really heavy. I don't know if it's even possible to get much more heavier than this. And uh, I know it's a lot to be said, but to be honest, uh, this is really, really heavy, kind of laden album. But this is not without problems, unfortunately. And one of the things is that, and this is kind of a typical burden with this kind of bands, is that a lot of these songs here are quite up lengthy. And it, of course, I wouldn't mind it if it was just good riffing all the way, you know, changes, diversity, you know, twists and turns, and those memorable chorus parts. You get the idea. But it's uh, on the contrary, unfortunately. For example, the last track, which is like nine and a half minutes, it's just like you could remove like one third or even one half, and it would be enough. Sometimes it seems that the band has fallen in love with 
riffs which are in my opinion quite mediocre and it just gets too repetitive and kind of a well not maybe annoying but boring to be honest and uh, I think that's one of the reasons why I just cannot celebrate this album to the max uh, I mean to be honest this band has so much more good than bad but these lengthy songs makes me feel that the band is band has become kind of a blind or deaf to their own music so much you know gotten into their own idea let's just play this riff for like a million time and like no it doesn't kind of work it doesn't work it, it's not supposed to even work but of course there are lots of people who just like the idea so make no i mean don't mind me give this album a chance because like i said there are lots of good ideas lots of good riffs even so um kind of like a good album but with minor flaws then again being a debut album this is quite strong an effort for such usually every band has their small flaws and uh, things they might later on figure out like hey we need to fix that we need to do something different with the later albums and as such i cannot really complain much but like thread lightly stay careful <laughs> i mean in the sense of uh there are lots of good things. An initial uh, song or two might just feel like, oh, this is album of the year. But when you give more listens, it just might you get in that trap. So uh, embrace yourself for a minor disappointment and uh, hope you enjoy it. Nevertheless, uh, 15th of February 2019, it's out. So even if there are not links right now, possibly having this album, prepare to listen to them in a couple of days and it should be sorted thank you for watching and as always looking forward to your comments and opinions why didn't you like that and all that stuff take care and listen to some brutal shit bye bye